switch back to doing uh, Homestuck. We're at Act 6, Act 1, Intermission. Let me get Lumi going. Oh, by the way, friends, just to let you know before we get going here. Um, so next weekend, I'm going to be streaming Homestuck on Sunday instead of Saturday. Because um, I have, uh, I'm actually going to a wedding on Saturday next weekend. So uh, stream's going to be Sunday at 10 a.m. Central Time next weekend. So just FYI. Uh, that's what's happening. Um, yes. So. Just let you know. It may happen a couple times this summer where I have to, like, move to Sunday or, like, uh, cancel a stream here or there because it's summer. Like, it's wedding season. I actually have a couple of trips planned this summer to go visit friends and also uh, going to weddings and uh, going on a trip with my girlfriend in a couple months, too. So, just if I had. But I will keep you guys in the loop. On what's going on. But we are here right now, and we are ready to go uh, into Act 6, Act 1 intermission. Um, let's see, it's about 10.50 my time right now, so it's a little early for the usual stretch break, but um, I think this is a good chance for uh, to do just that. So I'm going to get up and stretch for a moment, and I'm also going to freshen my coffee, uh, and then we will jump into uh, Act 6, Act 1, I'm uh, sorry, Act 6, intermission 1. So that's where we'll be. Actually, let me uh, let me go back to this page, just so I don't accidentally cause anyone with epilepsy problems. So be right back, friends. Oof. Okie dokie. <laughs> Fluff the popo. Oh man. She is she is a good dog. She is snoozing peacefully. Enjoying life. Alright. Alright, so a moment ago, like I said, I was just talking about um so stream next weekend is gonna be on Sunday instead of Saturday. Um also, in my, uh, in my weekly programming lineup, so, so uh, this past week I finished Chrono Cross. So uh, starting Monday, 7 p.m. Central Time, I'm going to start Transistor. That's going to be my next Monday game. So if any of you like Transistor and you like want to come watch me play it, uh, you can do that starting at 7 p.m. this Monday. Um, and also, uh, my streams on Wednesday, I'm doing Suikoden 2. I'm almost done with Suikoden 2. I think probably two more streams and I'll be done with Suikoden 2. Uh, so the next Wednesday game I'm gonna do is gonna be Night in the Woods, if any of you are fans of that, so just FYI, those are other things I do. 
outside of my weekends. So, anywho, I've got coffee. I also got some water, too, because I'm also thirsty. Oh, really thirsty, actually. Wow. Alright, so, let's go into Act 6, Intermission 1. So we're back on the friendship. The Beta Kids friendship. Well, just John and Jade, actually. I'm just calling this the friendship. Where are we? That is a great question. I'm not sure. Some sort of limbo dimension between the two walls, I guess. Like a realm with unusual spatial properties we have to cross through. Oh, okay. Then we escape the scratch? Like we still exist and everything? Yes, we still totally exist, John. Okay, just making sure. I still felt pretty existy, but you never know. Alright, so this is like this is like the uh, those few nanoseconds when they're going through Andrew Hussey's apartment between the walls. Uh, this is what I'm gathering from this. Uh, no, I have not played Valiant Hearts. Um, so what what kind of game is it? I'm mostly into like RPGs and stuff that like lets me do voices mostly, but uh, I'm not opposed to some suggestions. Also, recently I was I was thinking the other day about how like I've never played like any of the Tales games, and I was reading about it, and like I didn't realize like how big of a deal the Tales franchise is in Japan, like. I read it's like the third most popular RPG franchise behind Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest, so that's like, that's like, uh, and I didn't realize how many titles there were in that series either, so, anyway. Okay, the only reason I said a few nanoseconds is because that's what Andrew Hussey, or Hussey Bot said like a few pages ago. <laughs> Actually, hang on. I, let me let me jump back to that. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back to that because I wanna I wanna I wanna show you where I found that reference. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Where was it? Let's see. They should be traveling near the speed of light across the distance of one yard, giving them about three nanoseconds before they crash through the other wall. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I'm still kind of confused, though. About what? I mean, we crashed through that giant window you magically made with witch powers to escape the scratch, so we can keep existing, right? Yes! I didn't make it with witch powers, though. I capture logged it hours ago because Carcat told me to. Then at the last minute, I took it out and made it huge so we could escape through it. I see. Did you at least make it huge with witch powers? I did make it huge with witch powers. So I guess that's what witch powers do, is make things huge. They also make things small. Right, like you did with all those planets. Yep. Also, witch powers can teleport things and fling things around through space at very high velocities. All sorts of stuff. But, to be honest, I'm not sure how much of that is attributable to inheriting Beck's abilities. Man, spacey witch powers around- <laughs> Man, spacey witch powers sound a lot more versatile than my powers, frankly. Not that I'm complaining, because wind powers are still awesome. But, anyway, that's neither here nor there. What I'm wondering is, once we crashed through that window, weren't we supposed to, like, enter a new game session? The reset one? And meet up with Karkat and Vriska and all the trolls? And I guess maybe also a bunch of dead trolls too? Like troll ghosts or such? Yes, that was the basic idea. And what about your grandson? Wasn't he going to be wasn't he going to be there from the future or something? And then he would send Liv, Tyler to me, or actually to you, I guess, into the past somehow? Th that would be Jake. And yeah, I do believe we will meet him in this session. He said he had a bunch of friends who helped him make the bunny. I'm pretty excited to meet them all. Wow. Hey. I wonder what the fuck ever happened to Liv anyway. Last I saw her, I sent her off to give the tumor to Rose and Dave. Oh god, Rose and Dave, where are they now? Did one of them do the suicide mission thing? And what about the other? Did they get scratched? Actually, they both went, and in a manner of speaking, their mission was a success. Oh, so they blew up the sun and now they're dead? Nope, they actually did not, they did not actually destroy the sun. Trust me, I would know if it was gone. 
Now that, now that I know what I know, it was kind of silly of us to think it would ever be destroyed. And as it happens, Rose and Dave are not dead either. I have received very reliable reports that they survived. Oh man, that's great! I mean, I'm not sure how not blowing up the sun qualifies as a success successful mission, since that was kind of the whole idea. But at this point, I don't really care. I'm just happy to hear they're okay. It will all be more clear soon. How do you know? How do you know they're okay, or any of this stuff, really? I've learned a lot in my dreams lately. Heh, <laughs> probably more than I ever learned looking at the clouds on Prospect. When I was dead there for a few minutes, I had one last very informative nap. The bottom line is, Rose and Dave will rendezvous with the trolls near the green sun, and then they will all, then they will all meet us in the new session. Okay, that sounds awesome. And that was part of the plan, I guess I understood, but... Where is this new session? All I see here is a bunch of giant windows and a lot of warp speed whooshy nonsense. Oh, Dragon Spirit, I'm sorry about your bird. I hope you're okay. Alright, let's see. It's through the other wall. You mean that one way over there? Yes. Okay. So, is this place like that yellow lawn ring thing Carcat was talking about? No, not lawn ring. That's a silly troll word. It's the yellow yard. We have to cross it to break through the next wall. How is this a yellow yard? That's a stupid name for this place. See that long yellow band down there stretching between the two walls? I think that's supposed to be the yard. It's not a yard. Yards are like these flat, wide patches of grass surrounded by fences and stuff. If anything, it's more like a road. Oh, it's a yard as in three feet long. That kind of yard. I see what's happening there. Hmm, yeah, I think you're right. Kind of like the yellow brick road? Sure, why not? Let's all go see a big pompous wizard to solve all of our problems. I bet Rose would get a kick out of that. <laughs> oh yeah, and another thing. So, yellow yard like Red Mile. That kind of yard. Except not as like ominous or foreboding or like all doomsday-y. doomsday Day-y? day Doomsday-ish. <laughs> like, uh, like the Red Miles. Anyway. Hang on a sec, just checking a thing. Oh, sorry friends. Hold on a sec. Okay, never mind. Okay, what the fuck is that? Uh oh, is he like seeing a red? Is he like seeing red miles in his shades, or is this something else altogether? Oh, some kind of robot thingy. I have no idea. Extra dimensional shenanigan based phenomena, perhaps. <laughs> oh, hey, serendipity! Thanks for the sub. Yay! Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, that's Hussybot looking at them. I see. I see what's going on. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain cloth, or anything taking place out here in the Emerald Shitty paint job, for that matter. <laughs> oh, and there's the, there's the yellow yard right there. The yellow yard. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? I don't know. It got darker and greener. Huh? This place is weird. When are we gonna bust through the other window anyway? I'm kind of antsy to get on with our adventure and meet up with everybody. Yes, me too. Hmm, what is it?
I'm just trying to estimate our arrival time. Based on our current velocity, which is about as close to light speed as I can make it go. I see. Uh, since we are going so fast, it should be pretty soon, right? Like, a few more minutes? Hmm, no. It'll take quite a bit longer than that. Uh, how long? I would say, if I keep our speed constant, we should arrive in about three years. Three years? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a long time. Um... So I guess, like, a year for them is, like, a nanosecond for Hussybot. Because <laughs> he did say three nanoseconds. Jade's like, three years, so... What?! That is an absolutely preposterous amount of time! I know! Are you sure you can't make it go any faster? I mean... Not to sound too demanding, but didn't you say you can teleport stuff? Why not teleport us there? I can't. Not here, at least. Oh, well that sucks. Why not? The way I understand it is, Beck's powers draw from the green sun, and the green sun presides over our universe. Many universes, actually, and the sessions that created them, as well as the sessions created within them, including the Trolls universe and their session. Think of it like a giant solar system, but instead of planets revolving around the sun, there are many universes. Uh, okay. That sounds... big? It is. So, Beck was able to- so Beck was able to teleport anywhere in the universe he wanted in an instant. Oops, sorry. So, Beck was able to teleport anywhere in the universe he wanted in an instant, much faster than light. Jack was able to do this too, within our session. And then when I inherited those powers from Jade Sprite, so could I. But we could only teleport locally, which means Beck could jump to anywhere in our universe, but not to another universe, or into a session. And Jack could jump to anywhere in our session, but not outside it. We can't even jump to the green sun itself, even though we sort of serve as a gateway to it, and all its energy. And once we leave the sun's domain, our travel is limited by the speed of light, like, anyone else, like everyone else. For example, the furthest ring is not in the sun's domain. It's more like the sun's medium, allowing it to exist. So if I wanted to fly out of our session and travel to the green sun, I would have to make my way there through the furthest ring at the speed of light, or less. And wherever we are now is not in the sun's domain either, so the same rules apply. I see. It didn't really occur to me that this was all so elaborate. Like, if the green sun is at the center of a bunch of universes, like a huge solar system, doesn't that mean it was sort of important? Maybe trying to blow it up wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> yes, I think you're right. But to be fair, we were all victims of a big prank. Oh man, a prank? Who pranked us? Some really creepy omniscient guy? It doesn't matter much, he's supposedly dead now. Oh, well that was quite a ruse then, that son of a bitch! Oh man. Yes, but it's, yes, but it's not all as bad as it seems. There's a silver lining in all of this. Like you said, a sun presiding over many universes has to be pretty com cosmically important. Who knows what terrible con consequences there would be if it was destroyed. Or maybe worse, if it never existed at all. Oh, sorry guys. Gotta do a thing real quick. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. where was I? Bu -bu 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 -bu. If it never existed at all, which is what made Rose and Dave's true mission an unintended success. Their true mission? What was that? To deliver the bomb to the empty location the Green Sun was meant to exist for most of eternity, and then create the sun in the first place. That is what the tumor was for all along. Uh, like I said, we got played for a bunch of suck. We got played like a bunch of suckers. Yes. That's right, the green sun never existing would be like Terra not having a snoot to boot. If Terra comes over to the other side of the couch, I will move the camera up to her snoot so y'all can boop it. <laughs> oh my gosh, three years mind fuck. <laughs> so John is like struggling to 
deal with what's happening right now. Meanwhile, there's some kind of, so this is some kind of hand here. Is this, is this like the hand of our frog universe or is this some other hand? So Biley is slick got Biley exploded. <laughs> That's what I was wondering, Shwindu. It looked like a frog hand. Alright, so there's, uh... Oh wait, no, we're looking at the Scylla right here. This is, uh, this is Beck Noir. And this must be, is this Beck Blanco? as I like to call her. Yes, it's Beck Blanco. <laughs> oh man, I've been waiting to see like this confrontation. Oh no, and there's Wayward Vagabond. Oh, poor Wayward Vagabond. Oh, and there's the green sun. And I believe this is, these are the trolls, uh, Heading to the Green Sun to rendezvous with the Beta Kids. Oh, there's some Morse code there. Hang on, I want to decipher it. Um, let's see, Morse code translator. Let's decipher it real quick. Okay, so let's see. It's a dash, dash, dot, dash, 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 dot, dot, dash. Dot 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 dash dash dot dash dot dash dot dot dash. All right, translate. It says you suck. <laughs> you suck is what Serenity is saying. Oh yeah, Savas. Yeah, I remember that time too. Yeah. I mean, it looked like, it was, I was looking at, like, the negative space of it, like, like, okay, see, see, like, so here's the silhouette of Beck Blanco's head and ears and stuff, but, like, if you look at, like, the negative space, like, if you look at the black part, it kind of looks like the shape of a t-shirt, like, this looks like a sleeve right here, and this corner looks like an armpit, and then this looks like the torso, so, in my defense, it looked a lot like a t-shirt. It's like some kind of odd Rorschach test. Oh man, look at that standoff there. This is gonna be so cool. Oh, hey Dragon Spirit, how's your, how's your bird doing? Got the bleeding to stop, that's good. Aw, oh, poor bird buddy. Hope your bird's doing better. I'm glad you know Birdie First Aid. <laughs> so, hopefully things get better for you. All right. Oh my gosh, is this like a heart? Wait, wait, wait. Is this, is, is, is Beck Noir crushing on Beck Blanco? Oh my God, no way. Oh my God. That is fantastic. I am delighted by this. I ship this. I ship I ship Noir and Blanco. <laughs> I will totally ship this. I was gonna say this is gonna be a hate crush, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I can see your teeth right here. Yep, that's a spade. Oh my goodness. Is he leaving? It looks like he's leaving. Oh, is he heading for the green sun? Abscond. Okay, so he's absconding. He is heading for the green sun. Uh, and what is what is Serenity saying? 
So let's see, dash dot dash dot dash 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 dot dash dash dot dash dot dash dot dash dot dot. And this translates to coward. So Serenity is yelling coward. Oh my goodness. This is great. I'm enjoying everything about this encounter. Oh, poor wayward vagabond. Wait, did she just put the sword through her chest? It looks like she just put the sword through her chest. I guess you gotta look like your arch enemy. <laughs> Or just like putting putting the sword away for a second. She's just like sheathing the sword. It's just like her her chest cavity is the sword scabbard, I guess. Um, yeah, holstered it exactly, exactly, Gyro. All right, all right. What is Serenity saying here? So let's see. Dot dash dash dot dot dash dot 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 dash dot 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 dot. Actual ellipsis on that last letter, so. Pleases is what this says. Pleases. Or please S? Maybe? I don't know. Alright. So Serenity is like flying up right in her face and is saying something else now. Let's see what this says. Wait, can I highlight this? No, that's a. Oh, wait, hang on! They actually linked this to, to the Morse code translator. So if I click this, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Cause like, this is actually, this is the very website I'm using on my other screen. Okay, cool. So let me translate this dot, oops. All right, so dot, 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 dash, dot, 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 dash, dash, dot, 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 dash, dash. All right, this translates to help him. Help him! Oh, oh, it actually is please. Oh, oh, okay, I see. This is, yeah, okay, this is actual ellipsis. Okay, my bad. For some reason, I I read that as emphasis instead of ellipsis. Um, so yeah, so it's please dot dot dot. Help him. But what she what can she do to help the wayward vagabond? Like, isn't he dead now? I don't know. But anyway. Meanwhile. Back at the green sun. So, Sullux is driving the meteor. With everyone else on it. Hey, it's our friends! Uh-oh. Did, did Sullux die to get them there? I mean, Carcat is crying. Oh my gosh. Gamzee and Carcat. Gamzee is pointing at something. It's their friends. Wait a second. What's what's Solix doing up there? <laughs> and oh my gosh, Dave and Rose are there. Dave and Rose and Radia all got here, and I don't know what's going on with Solix, but <laughs> Oh, and what's this view here? Oh, Jade! So, is Jade like kind of seeing them in a vision or something, or...? Hmm. Oh yeah, I, f I forgot about what was going on with Solix actually. It does, it does fit his duality. Yeah, he does have three lives, that's right. I remember that from like way back when they like had a chart of like who had how many lives and like most people had two, but Solix had three because Solix gets to be lucky that way. Oh, right! Jade has- that's right! Jade has Beck powers, which means she's a gateway to the green sun. That's right, so she can, like, kind of, like, peek in and see what's going on around the green sun. 
Yes. That makes sense. Jade is just like, it's freaking awesome now. And there's Dumbstruck John, <laughs> whose mind is still like blown. Alright, so now they're conversing. And they don't need devices to communicate, because they got that new god tier ability last time. I don't know, last stream. Oh man, Rose and Dave has sweet god tier pajamas like us! That's so awesome! <laughs> Dave looks kind of like a doofus with that snug little hood. I think he looks cool! The cape is great, he's like a superhero now! That's true. I think I still prefer my outfit though. Look at all those trolls! There are so many trolls, the idea of meeting them all is kind of overwhelming. I wonder which one is which. I think that must have been Carcat there, and that was probably his clown asshole friend he mentioned too. Yep. And that was definitely Terezi with the fancy glasses. I'm not sure about the others. I wonder if Riska was there? Uh. It's nice to see Rose looks better. Last time I saw her, she looked really grim. And also, dark. <laughs> I was trying to talk to her, but she sounded like a babbling monster, so I couldn't understand her. It was really frustrating, and all of my nervous rambling probably made me sound like an idiot. And then when I woke up later, she was dead. Uh, did you know that I had to kiss her to make her come back to life? Huh? Yes, it's true. It's kind of a weird, it's kind of weird kissing a dead body, but I didn't mind. How did you feel about it when you kissed Dave when he died? Uh, how did you know about that? Carcat told me. Oh, that figures. Do you think that all of our unbridled corpse smooching means Carcat's silly shipping prophecy will come true? Um, I mean, the guy is really angry and says fuck like in practically every sentence, but he does weirdly seem to know what he's talking about when it comes to romance. Yeah, I don't know. Do you want it to come true? Man, I don't know. Do you? Hmm, mm, indeed. I think I missed them already, and we've only been here for a few minutes. Yeah, there's a lot I want to tell them about, and a lot I want to ask them. Well, you could ask them now if you want. Really? Yes. In fact, you can hop right through me and join. You can hop right through me and join them. Then you can travel the session with. Then you could travel with them to the new session if you like. Whoa. Well, heck, why don't we do that then? It would probably be more fun with them than being on this golden battleship by ourselves. It probably would, but I can't go with you. I can serve as a gateway, but I can't travel to the sun myself, remember? Oh, yeah. Damn it. But it's okay, really. If that's what you wanted to do, I wouldn't mind. But whatever you do, you have to decide quickly. They will be departing from the sun very soon. But I wouldn't want to leave you here all alone for three years. That would suck. I wouldn't really be alone, though. Alright, dragon, take care of your birdie. Oh, that's true. Jade has, like, all of those planets with her. <laughs> I have the population of five planets to keep me company. Oh, that's right! That makes it seem not so boring, I guess. But still, I would feel really bad leaving you here, even if you do have a million salamanders and chess guys to keep you company. <laughs> you are my friend and also my sort of sister, and we just met for the first time ever a few minutes ago. I'm not going to be like, well, see you in three years, Jade. Aww. Okay, then. Personally, I think this trip could be a lot of fun. There's no pressure to do anything important or run around like lunatics anymore. We can just relax. Yeah. Now that you mention it, I'm pretty beat. Also, starving. Woof. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that's the beck in her. That's awesome. Alright. Uh, da 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 <laughs> I'm sure, I sure hope there are things to eat on those planets. There were a lot of weird growing mushrooms on Laos, but I don't know about those. I seem to remember a bunch of farms on the battlefield. There should be lots of good stuff on the planets. Also, I bet this ship is stocked with plenty of military rations. Yeah, probably. Pfft. Hell, we could just raid all of our fridges and alchemize some tasty grub. Oh, yeah. Durr, problem solved. <clears throat> <laughs> John is such a good friend leader. 
Okay, cool. But it would still be nice to say hi to everybody before they leave. Just to let them know how we're doing. Yes. Like, one of the last things Rose saw before she died was me dying. I wonder if she knows I'm okay. I'm pretty sure she knows a ton of things now. Considering she is a fully realized seer of light. Yeah, probably. Then maybe I'll just hop over real fast and give Carcat a fist bump and then give Dave a hard time about his hella tight little hood and then hop back. I'm sure that would be hilarious, but if you go, I don't think I can bring you back. I can't bring anyone or anything to hear from there. Aw oh, man, really? As far as I know, if there's a way, I haven't figured it out yet. I am still kind of new to this omnipotence thing after all. That's stupid. What is with all these rules? I don't know. I'm sure the rules exist for a good reason, though. Maybe to somewhat limit the power and reach of omnipotent beings? If there are no limits at all, it would it could be especially dangerous in the wrong hands. Like what happened with Jack. Isn't that a contradiction, though? If there are limits to your powers, you can't exactly be omnipotent, can you? More like semi-potent. Semi <laughs> then I guess it's what we are. Semi-potent demigods. Demi-dogs. Woof, woof, woof! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Can you not control the wolves? I haven't gotten the hang of the wolves yet. So, the dog ears. Is that a permanent thing now, or what? I think so. I like them. I do too. You're like a furry now, but not the but not really the weird kind that people on the internet like to have sex with in their imagination. <laughs> uh! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's fantastic. Oh man, Jester, where has Jester been? Jester's been our human jukebox, and I haven't seen Jester around in a while. I've seen Jester on Discord, but like not on stream. Hey, can I at least send a message through? Like a note or something? Sure. Better hurry up and write it, though. Oh, snap. Okay. Gotta think qu quick. What do I write on? Maybe the back of a movie poster or something? Oh, I don't think I have one capture logged, though. And now that I think about it, most of them were ruined by Ips. <laughs> Alright, show dialogue. Ooh, Armageddon! <laughs> nice. How about this one? Looks like it's still in perfectly good condition. Yes, that's perfect! Everyone will love it, especially probably Tave. I think I need something to fold it up and put it in, though. I don't want to just crumple it up and chuck it in there as like some garbage. I could stick it in a book, I guess, but I kind of don't want to part with any great reading material, especially since we're gonna, going on a long trip. John, you have to hurry! Okay, okay, um... Oh my god, a pail? Don't put it in a pail. Oh my god, that is such a cultural faux pas! Oh my god! Oh no! Here, will this work? Oh yeah, I guess that'll be fine. Now, uh, what to write? Whatever you write, just make it quick and tell everyone I say hi. Okay, will do. Okay, while you work on that, I'll, I think I'll bring up some friends. Huh? You know, let some of our travel companions get acquainted with the ship. This is going to be perfect. Oh, suddenly there's a huge crowd. Oh, fuck, it's Dave Sprite. I forgot about him. Yeah, no shit. How have you been, buddy? Shoosh! Right now, catch up later! Okay, I think this is a pretty good letter. Let me check it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll humorously defile Willis and Affleck's dumb skyward yearning faces. Oh, hell no! Come on, dude, hand it over! No, come on, guys, they're about to go. Just stuff it in the bucket and throw it at me already. Too late, I already did it with sprite powers while he wasn't looking. Ah, you bastard! <laughs> God. This is gonna be great. Wait a minute! I forgot! Trolls hate cleaning products for some alien reason. Shit! That's gonna make everyone so uncomfortable! Oh well, there it goes. Too late, I guess. <laughs> you fucked up! Oh my god. <laughs> I love the look on Carcat's face. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. That was fantastic. Alright. Let's keep going. Rose, level up. 
Aradne's Thread Spinner from Pentacle Therapist. <laughs> oh my god. So Rose has leveled up on the god tiers, and Dave has leveled up. So he's not at Pimp Slayer yet, but he is at Revenge of Ricky Shreddinker, <laughs> having, having risen from Hot Potato Butterfingers. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. All right, Rose and Dave, reap spoils. You also, you both also get one of these. Now you can start flapping your traps with wild abandon at anyone you please. Yay, they can do the same things now, communication-wise. All right, so meanwhile, back in, back of the green sun. You see, I told you they would bring your, I told you they would bring your body. Okay, well, I believed you about that, but yeah, I can see that, but yeah, I can see that. Uh, can someone get rid of that thing, please? Oh, Sullix, let's do it. What? The corpse party. There's no better time, and there are so many corpses here to work with. Is everybody okay with that? Do you want to have a big corpse party? We can incinerate the remains in the sun. It will be just glorious. Corpse party? Rose! Can you please explain to my friends what a human funeral is like? Uh, of course. I would describe it as an occasion marked by a great deal of jubilation at the expense of one or more well-dressed cadavers. <laughs> oh, God. I couldn't have put it better myself. Could you go into more detail? Well, in my experience, a loved one, typically an elder, arranges to have the departed placed in a small box and then forces you to stand in the rain all day. Then, presumably winded by all the deeply ironic catharsis, she gets drunk and passes out on the couch. Oh my god, we are never gonna stop fucking with each other, are we? Even without computers. <laughs> this is great. Hmm, that sounds just a tad specific. We may have to adapt the proceedings to be a little more... I don't know... Multicultural, I guess? Uh... Why don't you all go do some brainstorming about what kind of funeral to have while I go round up the bodies? Aradia, fuck! Will you cool it on the corpse party shit for a minute? What's the matter? I mean, everybody here has just met, and I guess just went through a lot of really heavy bullshit. Do you think that maybe this isn't the best thing to harp on right now? Um, I just thought it would be a nice thing to bond over. Not everybody is as into death as you, though. Like, it's cool to see you so excited about something. I'm seriously thrilled about that. But frankly, it's all pretty fucking morbid to everybody. I just thought you should know. Am I really that bad? Yes! Oh, sorry. I guess I've spent enough time here that I just don't see death as the terrible thing the living make it out to be. I honestly feel like it's a reason to celebrate. That's okay, Aradia. No one's blaming you. I actually think your whole death fangirl thing is funny and kind of charming. Death fangirl thing? What do you mean? Oh, come on. You are practically beside yourself with giddiness at the idea of serving as the maitre d' to all dream bubbles. You love being the caretaker of wayward souls and dreamers. Luckily, you make an adorable handmaid to the master of death, especially in your cute cherry pixie ensemble. Do you think so? I am going to agree with my fellow seer on this. See? Even Snooty Miss Cantaloupe r r Even Snooty Miss Cantaloupe... So, sorry. Even Snooty Miss Cantaloupe Robe agrees. Oh, and guys, just for the sake of multicultural clarity, we trolls treat death itself as a mythological figure. He is a man with a frightening skull for a head and four and a terrible hypnotic glare. All the legends say he's got this super foxy handmaid to do his dirty work. I mean, this is all a fantasy, of course, but we can't really understand each other's cultures unless we understand the myths behind them. Yo, Terezi, we've got a Grim Reaper too. Shit isn't that novel. I mean, I think even a civilization full of the laziest sons of bitches are gonna make up a myth figure for death. Like, ooh, watch out, death is coming for you. He's got, like, a skull and shit. I basically have no fucking imagination. That sounds badass to me. <laughs> wait, wait, no, how about he's got a black robe too? And a fucking scythe to fucking slash at you with in case you didn't die all the way or whatever. Damn, now you're talking, bro. Let's go ahead and stick that in our culture forever. So, what you're telling me, Dave, is that we both have death and cotton candy? Hell yes. You might as well be the same damn species. 
Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Carcat's like about to lose it. Oh my gosh, look at Carcat's mouth. He's just like twitching and stuff. Is it going to is it going to shit on everybody's great time if I dare bring up important things now? Or <laughs> Is it safe to poke our heads up from this gulch of idiotic banter, banter and see if the coast is clear for adult business-like conversation? Yes. Yes, humans. So nice to meet you. And it seems you're god tears now. Neat, yada, yada, what the fuck ever. Just one question. We followed that green beacon of what I thought was the aftermath of, the, of a successful blow-up of the sun mission. Of the, uh, sorry. Of a successful blow-up the sun mission. And after a breakneck warp speed journey in which my best fucking friend ever psyched me out into thinking he died yet a fucking den by expelling leader after gruesome leader of grub sauce from his every orifice. What do I find here? Why, in addition to a pair of humans draped in circus wear and all their flippant gy flippant gibes locked and goddamn loaded, it seems we have also chanced upon none other than the green fucking sun itself. Which, unless my raw ruddy gander bulbs are still a little a little grief bleary, strikes me as still being somewhat rather fucking unblown up. So what am I missing here? Dude, chill out, we just got hornswoggle is all. Oh, case closed! Okay then, let's start pitching dead pals into the limitless inferno. My curiosity was totally fucking sated just then! The sun will never be destroyed, Carcat. I'm sorry, but you were misinformed. Ah, more breathtaking reassurance. Everything will be fine, guys. We were just hornswoggle and misinformed. Carry on then. Wasn't the whole point to take out the sun to neutralize Jack? It shouldn't be a problem. Oh no, then what's the plan now? It's simple. We regroup and then defeat him in person. Oh. Oh, fucking oh. And here I thought the new plan was going to be something incredibly stupid and suicidal. Did I say oh yet? Because that's the sound I make when I'm fucking relieved. Honk. What? Honk. What does honk mean this time, you whimsical piece of shit? Don't you start with me. Do not start with me. I will get you in a headlock so tight it will be a miracle if people don't mistake our tussle for an ill-conceived ventriloquist act. I will shoosh you again, so help me God. I will shoosh your clown ass to Shangra bullshit law and back and fill your ear with my white hot pal pale bro spittle. I am full and fucking well prepared to get conciliatory with you again if you so much as pass gas murderously. Do you understand? Is that what you want? Do I need to calm your fago sticky tent squatting shit down again? No, brother, I was just about to all say for you to try to get your settled down on, maybe. Oh. Man, what the hell even happened on this meteor anyway? Actually, don't even tell me. Yo, Dracon, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Okay, okay, yeah, I guess you're right. No, you're right, I should relax and breathe. I mean, what are Moy Rails for, right? This is how it works. I stop you from killing everybody, then you return the favor and calm me down, and I just breathe like this. Fuck, that sun is bright. Call me crazy, but it's kind of hard to relax within a stone's throw from, oh, I guess only the biggest fucking star any mortal has ever laid eyes on. Actually, I was just thinking, it's nice to get a little sun after so long. Sure, that's all well and good for you, but I mean, can this be healthy? Aren't we gonna get burned or have our retinas scorched by looking at it? Oh god, I think I'm having a panic attack. Carcat, you're embarrassing us in front of the humans. Fuck you! I can't breathe! It's so bright, I need sunglasses or something. Quick, which one of you awesome dudes has a radical pair of shades I can borrow? One moment. Oh wait, doesn't Kanaya... That's right, Kanaya has shades. That's right, she totally does. I forgot where she got them from. No, wait, weren't they... No, wait, did she get them No, she got them from Gamzy, who got them from Equius. Those are Equius' shades, right? Did I remember that correctly? 
I was joking. Get those fucking things away from me. <laughs> oh my god. This is fantastic. I am so sorry, you guys. We were actually a lot cooler than this. Are you actually? Uh, no, no, we are not. What is happening now? Someone tell me what's going on. Who's the leader now? Aradia, are you the leader now? Or is it Rose? I have an idea. Let's take the invincible demon head on Lalonde. I need to know who the leader is. I need to know in whose direction I must behave as the most pathetically useless subordinate I can be. Quick, someone boss me around. I'm fucking incompetent and ready to go. That's what you do when there's a leader around trying to make plans, right? You drop your IQ harder than a pair of hilariously plummeting pants. You ceaselessly ramble about vapid bullshit. You run around hiding all your worldly possessions in treasure chests. And then everyone starts murdering each other. If there's any other experience characterizing leadership, it's one I sure as fuck never had. So I need to know who the leader is. Strider, is it you? Ugh. Rose is floating there. Carcat, I don't know if anyone cares about formal ranks like that anymore, or if anyone ever did. But for what it's worth, I suggest that from now on, you all listen closely to the advice of our human guests. Wait, really? Yes, no need to be modest, Dave. Tactically speaking, a knight of time and a seer of light is a nearly unbeatable combination. Okay. I don't really have any orders to give, though. Except for Karkat to shut the hell up, because that horseshit is more obnoxious in person than I ever imagined. <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh wow, I would offer a retort to your, vicious, to your vicious barb, except for the fact that unlike every asshole ever, I can actually follow orders and shut my mouth. Check it out, dog! <laughs> yes, you are off to an excellent start as a subordinate. Keep doing that. But Dave, don't worry if you do not have instructions for us. The Knight of Time is not necessarily the tactician. He is a powerful warrior class which exploits the flow of time as a weapon. Rose is the one who must play the role of the strategists. The Seer class knows her aspect comprehensively. As a knower of all fortune, she can see the circuitous path that will lead to the most favorable outcome for everyone. Personally, I would defer to her judgment. Really? You can do that? Yes. That sounds a lot more useful than my, se than my seer powers. Illumination of the road to victory for all of us is an asset considerably different from command over the outcomes of decisions made by individuals. How do you know your talents? How do you know your talents won't be critical in blazing this auspicious trail? Um, I guess I don't. That's because you're not me. Okay then, what do we do? What do we do, Rose? What do you say? Nothing yet, but reasonably soon, within a certain window, it will be time to leave. We will then pilot this meteor as fast as we can make it go in that exact in that exact direction. What's that way? Nothing whatsoever. As of now, that way lies that way lies darkness and uncertainty beyond description. I see. Then perhaps we should reserve the infinite darkness plan for the maybe column for now. I think I'm even willing to let Dave take a crack at the logistics before we commit to that particular maneuver daring though it sounds. Oh yeah, I got sick nasty logistics up my sleeve. I just call them sticks, FYI, which is how you, which is how you know I'm way savvy about them. Most of the sticks I'm fine tuning at the moment uh, involve rap though, I should warn you. But Dave, what if that dope as hell plan falls through, I can hear you ask. Plan B involves drawing some shitty cartoons and not giving a fuck about stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Ah, I hereby second this cool dude's radical motion on grounds of ridiculously decadent attire. Yes, I'm willing to humor elaboration on this rap-centric plan and its apathy-based contingencies, even if it's excessively stupid. Trust me, it is. Just as you should trust me that by the time we leave, if we leave exactly within the designated window and are able to travel at nearly the speed of light, the meteor will trace a route through the furthest ring which will topologically resolve as a straight line. It will lead us directly to the new session. For a brief moment, the sun will be visible from that session, and we will be riding the chatr the chatr the chartreuse. I don't know that word. How is that word pronounced? I'll figure it out later. Coattails of its photons. This is why you all needed an advanced seer. 
I had become familiar with the ways of the fabric out here, but even I couldn't chart a journey that long or complex. That's because it's almost impossible to do so voluntarily. If we were to head right now in the session's true physical direction, it wouldn't be long before we found ourselves traveling in just the opposite direction. This is not even to speak of the chronological peculiarities. After traveling some distance, we could discover we were suddenly tailgating our own meteor from several days ago. If we are particularly unfortunate, we might even collide in an intersection of space-time with a meteor piloted by our future selves. And even if we looked closely at that meteor before impact, we might notice a very large dent in it, which originally suffered during the very collision we were about to experience. It takes precision and timing to reach, a, to reach your destination out here, and most importantly, the grace of the gods themselves. Hmm? Kay, what the fuck? Were you holding your breath the whole time? Yeah? So? Oh god, you dummy. You don't actually have to hold your breath when you're being quiet. Okay, yeah. I mean, of course it sounds obvious when you put it like that. <laughs> Rose, I told you this dude is fucking incredible. Shut the fuck up. Look, I'm just a little out of practice at staying quiet for extended periods of time, okay? He really is. Anyway, whatever. So what? So what? Anyway, whatever. So what you're saying, Lalonde, is... We're going to be on this horrible rock a good while longer to get to this paradise session or whatever it is? Yes. And since we probably aren't going to force Solix's bullshit half-ghost or whatever to pop himself again like a packet of nasty fetid mustard so he can shoot this thing into hyperspace... Hey, man, come on, not cool. <laughs> I'm guessing that means it'll take considerably longer to get there than it did to get here? Yes. I just knew it. This is my worst nightmare realized. When we first fled to this meteor, I had this weird feeling we'd wind up spending forever at this miserable place, assuming we actually survived. I'm almost afraid to ask, how long is this trip going to take? Probably some absolutely preposterous amount of time, like three long maddening sweeps, right? Wouldn't that just be so cosmically convenient and perfect for everybody, especially for the most important purpose of all, my uninterrupted continuum of personal agony? Thank you, Dark Gods! Thank you so fucking much! You win this round! You win all the rounds, apparently! There are no rounds, even! There's just your slimy tendrils, our naked bodies, and epics of molestation! Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic. What a description. Don't be ridiculous. It won't take nearly that long. Oh! It'll only take about three years. Okay, that's not so bad, I guess. Wait, how long are, how long are you supposed to be again? Was it like two weeks or something? Yes, two, and then 50 more. Fuck! <laughs> this is great. Carcat, go back to holding your breath. This is going to be a wonderful adventure for everyone. I'm a bit jealous, honestly. Or I would be if I wasn't having such a good time with my death fangirl thing. So, you aren't coming then? No, I still have Im some important work to do here. Oh, But that doesn't rule out the possibility we could meet again in our bubbles along your journey. I hope so. Yeah, I think I'll hang behind here too, if that's okay with you guys. Wait, what? No, come on, don't be like that! Be like what? A ghost? I don't think I belong with the living anymore. You're a half-ghost, asshole! What does that even mean? How are you even taking this idiotic half-death seriously if you just go hog-wild as a fucking whole ghost and say stupid shit like blah blah, I belong in the afterlife now, like a dumbass? Okay, sorry. I'm just done with this crap, this insane adventure bullshit. It's nothing personal. I just want to spend time with A and chill out and catch up with some of our dead, body dead buddies. Is that okay? Whatever, fine. I'm going back to not breathing again. This music kind of is that point. It's true. Maybe I will stay here too. Why? As nice as it sounds to move on, I don't know if I can stand three of your human years of more darkness. I like this sun. It's comforting in a strange way, like home. But what if we need your help? What could I possibly do, aside from providing a light source as you navigate the dim corridors? 
I would function as a premium escort to the load gaper, and that's about it. But Kanaya, you still have important work to finish too. We can't ignore our duties. What are you talking about? Our race is extinct, remember? And after a few more casualties, it is now hanging by a thread. Your job was to see to the resurrection of our people. What real hope is there for that? The orb was destroyed. I was never able to duplicate it. The grist cost was astronomical. There's always hope, though. You just never know, and I don't think you should give up. Doesn't Rose know? Can't you see the path to victory on this matter? It's hard to say. Does the repopulation of your species qualify as victory? These things aren't always clear-cut. Some outcomes are for your own judgment. What outcome would you like the most? I would like to have the orb again, and to keep it safe this time. And I guess to not be a total failure. Okay. If you follow my advice, I can at least promise you will find yourself in the best position to determine whether that may come to pass. Uh, can you please come? Between the two of us, you with your inexplicably heretofore unmentioned phosphorescence, and I with my nigh-reflective traffic cone orange sun sorry, the meteor should never be too dark. <laughs> Solex, oh my god, is it me or is everybody already just fucking hitting on each other left and right? Oh god, I can't take sweeps of this shit. Please don't leave please don't leave me alone here. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. But we really must leave but must we really leave so soon? It's soon or never, but not immediately. Even if the route were accessible right now, it would still behoove us to wait. There's correspondence from John yet to arrive. Whoa, really? And after that, we have to wait for one final guest to appear. Then we ride like the solar wind. The race will be afoot. Wait, another visitor? Who? Fuck! Oh lord, now what? Bro, where the fuck is your body? Oh no, they turned the back on the body! No! No, they turned the back on the body! Never turn the back on the body! Oh god. Sullix, where did your body go? Hell if I know. Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait just a fucking minute. Where's... Shit, Vriska's body is gone too. Wait, she's dead too? Uh, you guys are so messed up. Where are they? Did anyone see what happened? Damn it. When the fuck will I learn not to turn my back on the bodies? Hold on. Oh no. Where's Gamzee? He took them. Look at the trails. Oh, fuck. No, fuck no. Fuck that corpse hoarding sack of horrible garbage. Wait, has the Juggalo Troll been giving you guys fits like this or something? Like, this is a thing? Like, a pattern? Nice guess, shithead! Oh man, one of you has got to sit me down and tell me what actually happened here. It all sounds just... It all just sounds fucking amazing in sort of the stupidest way possible. I mean, like, personal tragedies notwithstanding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fantastic. Hey, Proto, happy Saturday. Yeah, he does this. He sort of collects bodies and decapitates them and stuff. Sticks them in big science jars for some reason. I'm pretty sure he kisses them, too, sometimes. No, no, no. I'm not listening to shit like that. I didn't even hear that. It's like, you know how every now and then your Lucis will bring some random-ass dead animal back to your hive for no fucking reason? And then they don't ever stop doing that, no matter how much you yell? It's like that. You know what I mean? Not really. Oh, wait. Against the laws, I sort of do. Mine actually did do that once. Yes, there you go. When I was really young, he made this stupid leather bib for me out of a goddamn horse. For the ironies, obviously. Was that the one you mentioned? Was that the one you had mentioned had a pink heart on it? Yeah. Hmm. What? It's just that with the clarity afforded by my new abilities, it occurred to me just now that dead horse was likely the beautiful pet pony my mother gave me recently. It was crushed to death by your newborn ass. You bastard! Well, well, shit. That's a hell of a mystery no one thought was a mystery and didn't even really need solving. But damn if it didn't just get solved. <laughs> damn if it didn't just get solved. So nice work. Thanks. Kanaya, where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. That is... That is... There is so much going on right here right now that I'm just delighted by. 
By the way, guys, I, I do see it is getting close to noon, but I also think we're close to the end of the intermission. So I'm just going to keep going until we get to the end of the intermission, if that's okay with you guys. Clown hunting. Oh my gosh, she has her chainsaw. She is going after Gamzy. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh. That is going to be awesome. Oh, is this like a gateway opening up? Oh no. Are you sure you want to do that? I mean, who even really cares if he stole more bodies? He can have them, frankly, as long as it keeps him out of trouble. We don't need to have a fucking corpse party. Seriously, fuck that dumb idea. Uh, all right, if you're really going to go, just be careful. No more pointless bloodshed, okay? That's an order. Oh, wait, fuck, I'm not leader anymore. Rose, can you order her to do that? Say what I just said really angrily. Assuming you can even be angry. <laughs> wait, guys, something's happening. What the fuck is going on now? Okay, this is going to be fantastic. This is going to be amazing. It's the pail! It's the pail! Holy! Fucking! Oh my god! That is amazing! <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the best. He's got hit in the head with a pail. For those of you who are like are joining us and like know nothing about Homestuck, so basically, um in troll culture, pails are like Seeing someone's pale in troll culture is like seeing someone's genitalia in human culture. So, so basically, Carcat just got like teabagged at high velocity. <laughs> there it goes. There goes the bucket. Carcat's falling over. Oh my god. Oh, and there's the message. And he has pails in his pupils and his foot's twitching. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh man. I'm glad you're all delighted that I just uttered the words teabagged at high velocity. <laughs> this is fantastic. Terezi has her face covered. Alright, there's John's message. Yeah, whoever knows how to add quotes, feel free to add, you just got teabagged at high velocity if you want to. Armageddon, beep, 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 backing up slowly into Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> He's looking at the message. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. Oh my goodness. There is certain wording here that just makes us better, doesn't it? Hey everybody, this is John. Actually, it is John, Jade, and Day Sprite. We all contributed to the contents of this bucket. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have to make it quick because apparently you're about to go on a long journey, just like us. I'm sorry we can't be there for the big meetup. Carcat, I deeply regret that I will not be present for these highly touted troll human sloppy makeouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Haha. <laughs> Maybe in three years, assuming you aren't all totally smooched out by then. I'm just kidding around, by the way. Rose and Dave, you both look totally sweet. I can't believe you're both god tiers now. Did you know that Jade is too? 
Also, she has dog ears. She looks fantastic. How cool is it that we're all god tiers? It's like we're a superhero team or some kind of anime squad. <laughs> like the Sailor Moon, like the Sailor Moons, I guess, but not as lame or as sexy. <laughs> I'm going to miss the hell out of you both for the next few years. I'm already looking forward to this new session so hard. It was a fun adventure we had today, wasn't it? I'll even miss talking to the trolls too. Say hi to them for me, even though I didn't get to know many. Except Carcat, obviously. And oh yeah, Vriska too. Vriska, if you read this, thanks again for all your help. I don't think I've made it this far if not for you. I just thought you should know that. Jade and Dave Sprite both say hi and send their best wishes. But now Jade says I have to finish quickly. She wants me to throw this bucket and its heartfelt payload through her mysterious portal. <laughs> so here I go. See you all in three years. John. Oh, there's sound on this next one. Car cat. Mental breakdown. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to be amazing, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Troll human sloppy make out. Oh my god. Wait, was that Nick Cage face, like, just in the upper corner for a second? Oh my gosh! I found the Easter egg! Well, that was the plan. <laughs> Give you a bone, right? God. Oh my god, why do you finish this? Boner. Wow. That was... That was something. Oh my god. Alright. Per tradition, when, we, when I watch Flashes, let's watch that one more time. Rosa and Kanaya... Terezi and Dave. <laughs> oh my god. That is fantastic. I am delighted by this. Oh, Car Cat is flipping out. And they're all like, oh, what's going on? Zooming out. Zooming out even more. Zooming out even further. Oh, oh! This is, uh. I'm guessing Beck Noir's outline. Or it could be Beck Blanco, I don't know. We will see. It's Beck Blanco! So she can also see what's happening at the green sun. <clears throat> it's another t-shirt, yes! Oh yeah, that's right, a while ago, a while ago was asked if Beck Blanco could help Weird Vagabond. Wait, is she gonna corpse smooch him? Oh, she, oh, she just like shoved him into herself so he could warp to the green sun. I see what happened. But wait, why, why did she do that though? Like what's going to happen next? Oh yeah, he doesn't have a dream self. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So like, what could they do to help him? Who's this guy? The visitor I mentioned earlier, he will be traveling with us too. 
Oh my gosh, Wayward Vagabond is going to travel with them? But he's not in good shape. All right, so here's <clears throat> here's Serenity with some uh, some Morse code. So let's see, let's translate this. Um, all right, so let's see. Actually, hold on. It doesn't show up there, does it? Okay, let's uh, translate this. All right, so dash dot dash 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 dot dot dash dash dot 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 dash dot dot dash dash dot dot dash 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 dot 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 dot. Uh, so the first line is, "You there, you there, g w miss." Oh, did I did I type something wrong? Let me double check my my Morse code spelling here. Uh, da, 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 dash 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 dash. Well, you there, one. I think I have to just a bit. It's like, you there, miss. Dot dash dash dot, dot dash dot dot, dot dot dash, dot dot dot, dot 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 dot, dot dash, dot 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 dash, dot dash dash, dash dot dash dash, dot dot dash dot, dot dash dot, dot dot dot, dash dot, dash dot dot. You there, miss, please save my friend. Alright. Is he dead? We should be able to get him some help along the way, but only if we leave immediately. Luckily for him, we have no alternative. Jack will arrive soon. What? When I said the race would be afoot, I was being literal. He will follow our trail and match our speed. And since this is not the ideal scenario for a final showdown, the best we can hope to do is outrun him. Oh man, so it really is on. The race really is on here. Sounds like it's time to hit the fucking road, then. How do we make this thing go, anyway? Does it have rockets or something I don't know about? Maybe it does. I'm not sure. But one good push in the right direction should be all we need. I can help with that. Sullix, do you think you can lend me a hand? Huh? They'll need the biggest push we can give them. Oh, yeah, sure. What, so just one push is going to last three years? Let alone outrun Jack? Bullshit. Calm down, Kay. It should be fine. You won't slow down. How the fuck do you know that? Troll Isaac Newton told him. Okay, whatever. Let's just get on with it. In the meantime, we should set up some sort of checkpoint perimeter around the dead mayor guy. Just so Gamzee doesn't try to hoard his body or chop off his head. What is he the mayor of anyway? It kind of looks like he just made that sash himself. He's the duly elected mayor of the Fruity Rumpus Asshole Factory, and he just cut the ribbon to a brand new museum full of priceless shut-the-fuck-up. <laughs> oh my god, that was a good one. Okay, you guys can keep arguing if you like, but I'm going to send you on your way now. Then after you leave, I should be able to buy you a little more time. How's that? When Jack comes, I'll slow him down for a while. It won't be for very long, but it's the best I can do. That should help us greatly. Thank you, Aradia. You're welcome. Are you ready, Solix? Solix looks totally ready. Oh man, that's a pretty awesome stance there. Get powered up! Get powered up, meteor friends! It's another t-shirt, guys! Okay, so this must be them taking off, and this must be Jack about to get to the sun. And this is Beck Blanco watching from afar. End of Act 6, Intermission 1. There's sound on this, so let's see what's up here. All right, Shwindu, thanks for, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, before everyone starts leaving, don't forget, uh, next weekend's stream is going to be on Sunday instead of Saturday.
Ooh, is this like a vision cloud? Oh, where are we now? What are those things? Oh, it's Strider! At least I assume that's Strider. And Lalonde! So these are things that have not yet happened, I'm guessing. Wait, Lalonde had... Is that Jaspers? In a block of ice? That looks like Jake. So we're kind of getting a taste of what's to come. Ooh, dragon. Oh, is this Jane's dream self? That is Jane's dream self. Prospect. Giant letters. Giant floating letters. Kind of an impromptu introduction to X6. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, really, like, the first act of Act 6 was kind of like a, like a prologue in a way. It was, like, pretty short and just, like, kind of introduced us to the characters and set things up, but... Alright, I think I'm going to watch that one more time, because there are some things I didn't catch the first time, I don't think. So let's go back and watch it one more time. Alright. Okay, so there's Beck Blanco. So on, she is on the move now. So that's the end of the intermission. <clears throat> Yo, dog, what's up? Happy Saturday, dude. Meanwhile, the Alpha Kids. Yep, so Beck Blanco is chasing Beck Noir, chasing the meteor. So it really is a big race is on. She kind of let him get a huge head start. Okay, so these things, I don't know what these things are, but we'll probably get a better idea of what they are later. So I'm guessing this is just kind of like, this is just kind of like a big teaser trailer for like the rest of Act 6. So there's Strider, who totally looks like Dave's bro. And there's Lalonde, whose first name we don't know yet. It will be revealed to us. We don't know Strider's first name yet either, but we will we will learn at some point. Hello, Frozen Jaspers. A well-played game of chess. There's Jake with some pretty cool shades. A volcano erupting on his island. I think that's his island. And then there's Jane's dream self. We saw Jane get blown up at the end of Act 1, so I wonder what is going on with Jane. I guess we'll find out. Maybe we'll start to find out next time.
Also, this music is awesome. Yeah, that is pretty cool, Hunter Sapiens. How there's like there's a big word prospect, like floating in the sky. So like in case you're somewhere in prospect and you forget where you are, all you have to do is look up and be like, oh, right, I'm on prospect. Duh, of course. Alrighty, folks. Well, we got through. We did a lot today. We got through uh, an episode of Hive Swap Friends Sim, um, and we got through the Act 6 Intermission 1 of Homestuck, so good stuff. So once again, just a reminder, um, next weekend I will be streaming on Sunday instead of Saturday. I'm going to a wedding next Saturday, so uh, it'll be Sunday, 10 a.m. Central Time. We'll play another episode of the Hive Swap Friends Sim, and we will start on Act 6, Act 2. Um, also, Monday... Um, Monday, 7 p.m. Central Time, I'm starting Transistor. So if you're a fan of that game, uh, come on by. I'm going to start playing that on Monday. And then Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Time is Suikoden in 2. I'm close to the end of that game. I think it's just I think it's going to be two more streams and I'll be done with that. Um, and then uh, uh, the next game I'm going to play on Wednesdays is uh, Night in the Woods. So that's coming up in a couple weeks. So just let you guys should know. Last thing. Before you take off, I'm going to drop a few links in. If you want to hang out with us outside of stream, I have a Discord. Uh, if you want to stay in touch with me, I have social media. I've got Twitter. I've got YouTube. And if you want uh, to see more adorable pictures and videos of Tara, you can follow her on Instagram as well. Thank you so much, everyone. Let me put Lumi back on to play us out here. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And I will see all of you all next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye, friends.